Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to my Lego city. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a complete tour of the city going up and down the streets of this entire Lego city and just giving you a close look at all the details and all the new displays that I have set up in it. So without further ado, let's begin our tour. So this is my Lego city. This city has been a project that I've been working on for probably close to four or five years now and this city consists of different sets and mocks that I've created. All the Lego here is my own obviously and you'll see throughout the tour there are both mocks and official sets in here as I mentioned. And the highlight of the city for me personally is this Harry Potter display right here which is without a doubt my favorite part of the city and a lot of the fans favorite part too which is really cool. And you'll just see that the city is built on four IKEA tables. You can just see them right there. I got those tables, like I said, from IKEA. And underneath of the city, I have all of my Lego parts bins where I keep all my parts, as well as some spare sets and vehicles that I don't have in production right now in the city. And then up above the city, you'll see there is a whole bunch of different Lego posters up there, which just really just helps bring the city to life. So we're gonna start the tour of the city right down here where you can see I have a sign and this kind of just points you in the direction of the Lego city so right now you're on Mount Clutchmore and it just points that right over here is my Lego city so starting in this corner of the city we have the Ninjago Monastery and this is the monastery set the new one and you can see the ninja are just all around here just kind of having a regular day in their life you know Zane is down there practicing spin jitsu and you'll see Lloyd is down there cheering him on. I've got Jay and Nia watching on this side over here. Up above, there's Kai and Cole. And they're kind of just chilling, ha having a good time, you know. And yeah, that's the monastery. Outside of the monastery, I have Lil Nelson down there. And he's just trying to enter, get a look at what's going on. And you'll see Master Wu is enjoying some tea down there. Across from the monastery is my beach. And this is where the citizens of my city can go and kind of just relax and enjoy the end of their summer. There's a lot of cool details around this beach. I've got Batman and he's going in for a swim. There's also a raft there and just a lot of fun minifigs and fun characters all around the place. There's also ice cream in the back there with the ice cream truck and you can see, if you take a close look, Shaggy and Scooby are actually going down to get some ice cream to enjoy. And that brings us to the main street of the city. This is kind of like, the main street where there's a lot of important buildings and tourist attractions. So the biggest tourist attraction in my city is this museum and this is a mock of mine. And it is based off the Lego City Museum set from 2013. And you can see I kind of just expanded it and unfortunately right now the museum is being broken into by the villains of Gotham City so you can see them all up there. Poison Ivy already has a bag of money but yeah you can see they are having a robbery. That's not really good. And they're doing it in broad daylight too while the museum is open and you can see that because there is a bus letting off some minifigures into the museum so that should be interesting when they get inside. Moving along we have the police station and this is the 2012 set of it. But you can see I've added another floor to the jail and that is just a minor modification that I've made that I think is really really good and there's a lot of great details down here. You can see that Chase McCain has just arrested a crook. You can see he's not even in a burglar's uniform yet. And some of you may know who he is. He is the guy that makes illegal cookies in Lego City. You can say the other police chief has the cookies confiscated right there. But the main event going on at the police station is there's actually some aliens here that the police are exporting or transporting to Area 51. So you can see we have the alien from Toy Story, C-3PO, and Yondu, and the police are all protecting them from a huge crowd of minifigures who are just trying to go in, get an alien, and you'll get a good look at them, kind of see them. I thought that was a fun, somewhat pop culture reference to throw in there just as, you know, a fun thing for people to enjoy. Next we have the detective's office modular building. It is the only modular in the city. And the next modular building here is a mock. This is my custom Toys R Us mock. I made this a couple years ago actually and this is still one of my best lego mocks it's fully detailed and it just really really is cool and a fun place for minifigs to get toys you'll see there's an akami flying overhead there 
and in the center of this street here we have just a little statue and you'll see there is a lot of traffic throughout the city you know just a lot of hustling and bustling the night bus is down there a whole bunch of fun stuff even in my custom mystery machine over here we have the white house which is you know an important building next is my custom lego fitness center which fun fact i'm not going to ever make another video on this fitness center because the last two times i've done it something bad has happened to the channel the first time i made a video on it my computer's hard drive crashed when i was editing it the second time i thought about making a video on it and i lost access to my youtube channel so no video on that that's just a little jinx i think and then here is the lego store we love the lego store in my lego city you can see there's a happy employee out there and just a whole lot of fun there's a little ninjago Tiger Widow's Island build right there and Lightning McQueen you can see is coming in through there and another Ninjago building which is really really cool is Master Chen's Noodles. This is a custom mock that I made quite a while ago but it is still without a doubt one of my favorites. You can see Darith is down there going in to try to get some puffy pod stickers and this is a whole street of mocks in my city and this is really one of the better streets even the back side of it too has a number of mocks on it. But this is just a really, really great street. Definitely one of my favorites. So we have Master Chen's Noodles. Then we have Darth's Karate Dojo. Outside of the dojo, you can see there is some disco performance going on with the Disco Diva and Disco Batman, which is pretty, pretty cool. Moving down, we have the coffee chain from the Lego movie where you can get coffee for $37. Larry the Barista is down there bringing up a hot cup. Then here we have the bank in the city and you'll see Jacob Kowalski is on his way to the bank to try to get a loan to start his bakery hopefully that goes good for him and then right here i have my custom antique store which is just a fun building for people to go in and see some old relics and other cool things right here is the blacksmith shop from ninjago and you can see maya is out there coming out just to go for a walk around the city but her husband ray is in there doing some work on a sword for a customer and outside of the blacksmith shop, something pretty cool is Newt Scamander has found a new species of fantastic beasts. This is a plantable and he's trying to capture it so we can do more studying on it, which is pretty cool. You know, a really fun little detail to have in there. The next building on this street is the bike store from an official set. Next is my comic book store and then my custom Lego burger bar, which I've actually just recently finished up. And you'll see that that is a very, very cool mock. If we just swing around right here, I'm trying to do this all in one take to make it a little more, you know, just feel natural. So there you can see the burger bar. There is a very nice big burger sign on top of that. I am going to do a video on that at some point. And here's a better look at the comic book store. And down at the very end of this street is Arkham Asylum. And you can see right here that Clayface has broken out of jail and he is terrorizing the city. And in particular, he is terrorizing J. Jonah Jameson down there so just get a good look at that but luckily for the city Spider-Man is on his way swinging in right behind Vitruvius there so he's gonna come in and save the day next up we have Ronin's pawn shop in the city of sticks right here that is the official set but I did customize it so it wasn't possessed which I think looks really pretty cool moving along and this building, there's a pretty cool event happening. There is a fashion show going on with all of the villains from Ninjago. So you can see Chen is on the red carpet right now. And you can just see all the villains are, you know, just attending, watching, having a good time. There's speakers there. But up top, the real thing that's happening is Harumi is planning something devious with her walkie-talkie there. So not sure what that's about. And then the last building on this street is the fire station, which is the winter village one from last year but I've just put it on a base plate and taken out some of the snow so it fits in a more city setting and then there is the borough and you can see Arthur and Molly Weasley are down there just enjoying a nice day outside so that is the main like residential area of the city or not even residential kind of just all the main bustling of the city you know all the shops all the excitement in the city is on these two tables and then when we move to these two tables, we get to kind of the more outskirts of the city. So we have the Hogwarts display down here, and let's just get right into the Harry Potter field because it is time for the Triwizard Tournament. You can see there are three champions down here. We have Victor Crumb, Fleur Delacour, and Cedric Diggory in the back there. And they are watching because their other champion, Harry, 
is being attacked by a Hungarian horntail. The horntail broke off of its chain there, and it is chasing Harry on top of the tower just like that, which is a pretty interesting sight, something that they weren't expecting at all. And if you want to see a better look at all the details of this Harry Potter area, you can do so by clicking the card because I made a whole separate video where I go through it. But basically there's just a whole bunch of different Harry Potter scenes. Specifically this time there's a lot of Goblet of Fire stuff so you can see Fred and George Weasley tried to put their names in the goblet but got backlash from the spell. You can see Victor Crumb making an entrance down here to a bunch of fangirls and just a whole bunch of fun stuff. Then in this back area of the city, like I said, this is kind of the outskirts of the city, we have the fair. And you can see there is a nice skyline here of just the old Bricktober sets, which is really cool. And then we have a pizza place down there, but there is the whole fairground set up here. So you can see we have a juggler there. There's also the test your strength ride, not ride, but I guess a little attraction. There's a dunk tank, which you can see Princess Harumi is going up to. And there's the tickets, and then when you get right back here, we have the fairground mixture itself. And this is in a new location. I actually like this location a lot better for it because when we zoom out and look at the city from this angle, you get a real good look at it, which is what I like. And the cool thing is that the mixer does, of course, actually spin, and it also glows in the dark, which is awesome. And that is really it for my LEGO City tour. So that is everything there is to see in the city. So like I said, a lot of fun stuff and definitely a lot of good stuff in this city. Now, I know a lot of you like the city and I'm not gonna be able to work on the city as much as usual as I mentioned in a previous video. You can check that out by clicking the card. But I am going to still be updating the city as much as I can and making as many videos from it as reasonably possible. That's gonna be it for this video though. Let me know what you like about my city. What's your favorite section? What's your favorite display? And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all again in my next video.